Hello everyone, welcome to English Tutorials by Poonam Thakur. In this video, I will be focusing on Assessment of Listening and Speaking Skills, previously known as ASL for Term 2. So let's get started. The Term 2 will consist of Project Work and Viva. Out of 10 marks allotted for the term, 5 marks are for the project report, script writing or essay which you have to submit and 5 marks are for the Viva which will be based on the project submitted by you. In Term 2, ALS, you have to submit a one small project work based on any one of the themes that CBSC has recommended. In this video, I will be highlighting guidelines given by CBSC and will also suggest few topics or themes to work on and to prepare your project portfolio. Suggestions for project work the project can be interdisciplinary in theme, the ideas, issues highlighted in the chapters, poems, drama given in the prescribed books can also be developed in the form of a project. Students can also take up any relevant and age-appropriate theme. Such topics may be taken up that provide you with opportunities for listening and speaking. Some suggestions given by CBC are as follows. A interview-based research. Students can choose a topic on which they want to do their research or interview. Students will frame questions based on the preliminary research or background. The student will then write an essay, write up or report etc. up to 1000 words on his or her research and submit it. The student will be evaluated on the research project by Viva. Let me explain the first two points in detail. Children, you can choose a topic which you want to do research or interview somebody on. Two examples are given by CBSC to make you understand how to go about it. First topic is evolving food tastes in my neighborhood. Here, your objective will be how can you and your team members discover the evolving food tastes in your neighborhood? And if we take second example, coronavirus pandemic, and the fallout on families, you have to focus on how can my partner and I find out the effect or consequences of the coronavirus pandemic on the families in the neighborhood. This will be your objective or an open-ended question that you understand, find interesting and helps in exploration of your project. The student will then conduct interviews with a few neighbors on the topic. For an interview, with the help of teacher, student will frame questions based on the preliminary research and background. Once the research work is done, the student will then write an essay, a write-up or a report up to 1000 words on his or her research and submit it. Once the research is submitted, he or she will then take a viva on the research project. The project can be done individually or in groups. Some of the topics or themes you can undertake for your research work are as follow. Interview a famous author in your city or locality. COVID-19 and its impact on education system. Relevance of Gandhism today. The effective leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. Interview with a parent of a teenager facing adolescent issues. Interview with an adolescent facing peer pressure. Interview a police official about mental state of thieves or criminals. The impacts of climate change on human health in your city. A scientific assessment. Interview your school principal to know about the problems faced by students related to stress, anxiety on a virtual platform. Interview a wounded soldier, a physically challenged or specially abled person. Interview with a victim of domestic violence or gender oppression. Materialism is a big rat trap. Generation gap in your family. Relationship between peer group influence and students academic achievement at senior secondary level. Brand mania and teenagers. Overuse of digital platforms or gadgets and devices. Transcending culture boundaries. Impact of OTT platforms on the teenagers or school going children. Students peer pressure and their academic performance in school, 
challenges and opportunities created by the covid-19 pandemic next option we have is listening to podcasts interviews radio or tv documentary on any topic and preparing a report countering or agreeing with the speakers under this activity you will be listening to your selected media and will be expressing your views for or against the event issue or talk under this suggested topics are new education policy 2021 are gandhian principles relevant today peer pressure is a good thing everyone should become vegetarian mahatma gandhi and non violence bullying in adolescence the health effects of global warming achieving gender equality in india what works and what doesn't next option you have is to create your own video or audio before you decide on a format the following elements are to be taken into consideration first you have to select a theme or topic for your video or audio you can pick any current issue like covid-19 pandemic and its effect on mental health social media and friendship or use of technology in modern classrooms or you can also pick some artistic topics like theater music drama cinema architecture or abstract expressions once the theme is selected and approved by your teacher next major step will be writing the script you have to decide on the elements that need to be part of your script next focus will be on deciding whether you want to interview one person or more than one another important point to be considered as an interviewer would you prefer to improvise while chatting with your guests or will follow the script strictly next is the duration of your audio or video so the time allotted is 5 to 6 minutes now last step is to decide how to present the script or report to the teacher so students you have to decide whether you want to present it as a screenplay in the form of a narrative or as a report a few topics which can be used for making your audio or video are as follows child labor the life of slum children india needs to reform its culture to excel in sports loneliness and social isolation crumbling moral values in today's society old age homes are necessary in modern world should instagram influencers be regulated india is a wonderful amalgamation of tradition and modernity gender equality and women empowerment in india relevance of gandhian principles in the 21st century the last option is to write direct present a theatrical production or to do one act play students this will be done as a group project it will involve planning preparation and presentation in short various language skills like reading writing listening and speaking will be utilized the steps involved under this will be research discussion the script writing auditions and after that production of the play time duration for the play is 5 to 6 minutes the project will end with the presentation and subsequently a viva students you can use props relevant to the theme of your play a few topics which can be used for your project work are as follows play highlighting untouchability one act play on mahatma gandhi and his principles play highlighting nature conservation kindness goes a long way to make one's life better play on peer pressure play on child labor and play on creating covid awareness let's focus on the stages involved in the project work first stage is the topic selection students while selecting topic you need to be very careful your topic should be age appropriate it should allow a research and should give you an opportunity for speaking and listening and most importantly it should have a clear open ended question next is planning which include your action plan here you need to draft a plan as a team or as an individual and you will also mention the work delegated to the team members by the group leader next step is research it involves research on the topic or theme you have selected it could be an interview survey 
online surfing of videos, audios, podcast, documentary, TV program, etc. or anything which you have googled. So you have seen the reactions or read the comments written by people. Here you can do the comparison. Why their reactions were similar or why their reactions were opposite followed by an analysis of the data or your findings. Or you can read literature, books on different genre and then analyze the findings. All this will come under research. Next step is designing or creating. Once your research is done and you have analyzed the findings, you have to write a report or an essay or a script on your research. It can be role play, podcast, audio video recording, anything which will help you in your presentation. And also you have to consider that it should give you an opportunity to listen and to speak. Please remember your report should be written in 800 to 1000 words. Next is presentation which focuses on listening and speaking skills. It should be topic related. Student should speak on the topic and share his research outcome. Student, you can present your findings in the form of a speech, a discussion or you could do it via play, talk show or news reporting as a reporter or a journalist or as a podcast etc. But remember, if it is a group activity, one member should not speak for the whole group. Everybody should get equal opportunity to express him or herself. So this is all about presentation of project portfolio. Once the presentation is done, you have to submit your project portfolio to your teacher for evaluation. Viva will be conducted by the examiner as per the schedule given by the board. Students, while planning, you have to focus on the following questions. How will we begin? What all are we required to do? What role will each member play towards project completion? What are our objectives? How do we design them? What is the timeline? How could we present our project? The project portfolio may include the following. The cover page will include title of the project, school details of the student or students, followed by the statement of the purpose or the objectives. Next will be certificate of completion duly signed by your principal. It will be followed by content of the project. After that, you will attach action plan of the project. Then project report in not more than 1000 words, followed by questionnaire or your survey. Second last page will be your photo journey or a collage showcasing your positive research experience. And last page will consist of the resources and bibliography. The first page or cover page of your project portfolio should look something like this. It will include name of the school and logo along with project title and student details. Comment down below if you would like for me to share the PDF of the format with you. After the cover page, you have to attach the certificate of completion. It certifies that you have successfully completed your ALS based project under the guidance of your subject teacher and you have adhered to the timeline specified by the board for the planning, preparation and submission of the project. It will be signed by your school principal. The next page is acknowledgement. The purpose of the acknowledgement is to express your gratitude towards the people who helped you in the completion of your project. Students, if you want, you can copy this as it is. But if you would like to write your own acknowledgement, then you must include expressing your gratitude to your English teacher and your school principal. I have provided you with a sample that you can use as a basis for your own acknowledgement. After the acknowledgement, you have to attach the index page which will include the contents and their respective page number. Please remember to leave space for your subject teacher's name and signature. Apart from written work, you must attach a collage or a photo journey of your research work. You can also give a catchy heading to this page, Be Creative Children. Next page will be group reflection in which you will talk about your experience, what happened, how the research helped you, what have you learned, the efforts you and your group have put in and what you have experienced, your strengths, weaknesses, anxieties and errors during research and constructive criticism about yourself and others. You can use personal pronouns like I and we. Last page will be the bibliography. It is the listing of the reference books, magazines and internet resources 
that you have used in designing, carrying out and understanding your project. The final viva will be conducted by the external or internal examiner. During viva, examiner will ask the students some questions. Questions will be based on the project selected by the student. It is necessary to submit your essay, your project report or script before viva for examiner's reference. With this, we come to the end of this lecture on ALS for term 2. I hope your doubts regarding ALS is cleared now. If you still have any queries, feel free to drop a comment or your question in the comment box and I will get back to you. Like, share and subscribe English Tutorials by Poonam Thakur.